Welcome class of 2019, I'm Ellie McNeil. And I'm Nick Croce. And we're here with your first glimpse of everything that Wayne Hills has to offer, including sports, activities, and after school clubs. So listen up freshmen, because we're gonna tell you everything you need to know to make your first year here a success. But first, let's hear some wise words of wisdom from the people who know Wayne Hills the best. Welcome freshmen. Uh, I think one of the things that you need to do when you come to Wayne Hills High School is get involved, uh, whether it be a club, whether it be an activity, a sport, uh, and keep yourself busy and find friends that share the same things that you have in common. And uh, I think you'd have a great experience if you do all those things. There's definitely something out there for everyone. Uh, if you're interested in clubs, um, we have a ton of already established clubs. Otherwise, uh, I have people coming up to me all the time asking to start a new club. Be adventurous, start a new club, grab an advisor, and really get involved in Wayne Hills High School. Well, here at Wayne Hills, we have a lot of different courses and activities and um, different like tracks, you know, TV production and CAD and foods and photography in addition to like your traditional academics. So my biggest piece of advice is when you come to high school, really use those different opportunities um, to explore like what you're really interested in and take advantage of all you have here because there are many, many, many programs and activities and um, different kinds of things that you can get involved in that really will make your four years here uh, you know a, a really exciting experience I went to high school here and I really enjoyed it and I enjoy working here now I was a teacher for many years and now I'm, um, I'm gonna get to be you know a vice principal for the next coming um, ninth grade class so I'm excited about that and to walk you through your four-year journey so my biggest advice again is to you know get involved in as many things you can work hard and really make the most out of your four years here at Wayne Hills so first and foremost get involved and stay involved. Being involved is the most important thing here and it really makes the whole high school experience uh, possible. Second, study hard and ask for help. There's lots of people here that are willing to give you a hand and help out whenever you need. It's a transition from middle school to high school and uh, that change can be a big one, but when you need those things, please reach out and uh, know that there are pe a lot of people here who care about you, from teachers to counselors to the administration. Look forward to seeing you. Hello, incoming freshman class. Um, welcome to Wayne Hills. Wayne Hills has so much to offer its students. Um, they're supportive staff when you need help, and there's lots of clubs and organizations, so make sure that you get involved. I'm sure you're gonna hear that a lot. Um, and also, everything matters now, so make sure you're doing those little things just like homework and getting good grades and all of that stuff really matters, okay? Have a good one, and we look forward to seeing you in the fall. For any incoming freshman, my best advice would be based on what I've experienced this year as the ninth grade administrator, and that would be to make sure that you are familiar with what you're going to need over the four years in order to prepare yourself. So I would advise you to be active in activities in the school, look at clubs, sports, and also any opportunity that you have to involve yourself with the community and also make sure that you understand that once you're in the high school, the GPA calculation begins the first day you step foot in this building. So you want to look at the programs you take, the courses you take. You want to keep up with your, the expectations of your teachers so that you'll have a good, smooth transition and a good four years here at Wayne Hills High School. Here at Wayne Hills, you can stray away from your academic classes and take an elective of your choice. Wayne Hills is equipped with the finest teachers to cater to your interests and expand your knowledge. Here's a sneak peek of all the different electives you can take. Kids should take CAD uh, next year because it's a great class for people who love computers. It uh, teaches you a lot about not just computers, but like how things work. And it's a great elective for people who like art because you have to visualize what you want to do. And um, it's great that we have a teacher, Mr. Lemkin, that helps us with more than just CAD, but also SOLIDWORKS and like 3D drawings and stuff. Kids should take CAD next year because this class really helps you visualize what you have in your mind. If you're not an artistic person and you have an idea, it's very easy to put it down in front of you if you can't really draw or you have a hard time putting ideas down. It helps you visualize things and you can really use it in the future. You can use it in your classes and it's just a really good tool to have. Hey, uh, my name is Mo Hamde, and the reason why freshmen should take robotics is because 
It teaches life skills that are essential for you throughout your life, you know. Later when you're older, you, you might want to build something, say, for your shed or your house. And robotics has taught me the skills that I need to be able to build these things later on in life. How you doing, uh, Mr. Yost here? Engineering field is dying for kids that can uh, design and build things. and. Robotics One is the place to do it. You draw, you learn how to communicate, you learn how to work in groups, you learn how to do uh, documentation, and most of all, you learn how to have fun. Hey, 8th graders. I'm in Child Development One now, and I'm in 10th grade. You can't take it when you're in 9th grade, but it's something really fun to look forward to when you get to 10th grade. You can take Child Development 2 when you're a junior, and eventually Child Development 3 when you're a senior. That's when you actually get to go to schools and teach. Child Development is a great way to interact with kids, especially if you want to become a teacher or anything else in the teaching field or interacting with kids, and you get to learn a lot about them and a lot about kids and how they develop and it's just really fun to be able to teach at such a young age and then know how you're going to teach in the future. Hi, I'm Nicole. Um, I'm in 12th grade. I've taken photo for two years. Um, this is advanced photo, so it's mostly Photoshop, but for photo you don't have to come in here knowing anything and you don't have to go to college for it either. It's just a fun class. You get to express yourself in different ways. and. We worked on different kinds of projects such as uh, reflections, pictures, and shapes, and painting with light, and we have our fast speed shutters. Hello, my name's Tom. I'm a sophomore, and this is my second year being in the advanced photo this year. Uh, our projects that we do here are great. You know, we paint with light. We're doing action photography over here, action speed. It's fun, it's great. Join the class, Miss Clark's great teacher. Looking group of eighth graders, I didn't see you there. I'm Delaney Tarpey, and I'm one of the three editors in chief of the yearbook. Um, so, what we do is we make the yearbook on the computers using a program called eDesign, and you could take the yearbook class all four years. Freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors are welcome. Oh, hey, everybody. I'm Sean Higgins. I'm in the yearbook class, as you can see right behind me. Everybody's busy working. I love doing this class. I'm in the photo staff. It's for um, extraordinary kids, if you will, like myself. Also, we have Grant Kelly, we have Alexander Corman, Chris DeLoya, Kayla Falconeri. It's a great class. You should definitely take it. Lots of fun. All right. So, as a freshman, you're asking yourself, why would you take fabrication? Three reasons. Yost is the man. He's over there. Yost is the man. and. You know, who doesn't want to build stuff? Who doesn't want to make stuff with their hands? Who doesn't want to do something they can actually make a difference and use in their future? That's why you take fabrication. Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm a sophomore and I take foods. It's one of my favorite classes because we get to learn how to cook. And we, we've made a lot of desserts so far, like we've made cookies and brownies. They also teach us like how to bake stuff and different types of baking materials and we also learn dining etiquette, which is how to eat properly. And hey, I'm Marco, I'm a sophomore. Uh, I take foods because it's a great class to take. In the past, we made brownies, pancakes, a variety of different cookies, and it's just a fun class overall, and I really enjoy it. Daniel Day-Lewis, Robert De Niro, Leonardo DiCaprio, Matthew Ferrara. That was just my list of uh, favorite actors, least to greatest. Now, I attribute theater arts 100% to definitely furthering my acting career and making me a more comfortable person in the theater world. You'll have fun, you'll make new friends, and you'll be completely comfortable the entire time while doing it. You know, theater arts is a really fun class, um, and I, you'd think that just people who are participate in theater events would do theater arts, and that's not true. I myself, I play several sports, We're all come, we all come from different activities that we do. Um, you know, we've all come together and we act out certain skits and it's really a fun time. It's a good way to let loose and forget about all the daily stresses. You should take this class if you're very creative and you want to learn new skills like sewing, knitting, and quilting. You don't have to have any experience because you learn everything and it's a really fun class. You should take clothing because you can sew a lot of cool things like this tote bag and this pillow. 
and you should take this class because it's a great experience. My name is Jenna McGuire. I'm a freshman and I took graphic design because it teaches me about how corporations kind of design their own logos and it kind of helps me incorporate how to have a creative mindset on how and kind of like organize myself in like the graphic design way and with computers. Many upperclassmen take this course, so it's very good because you get to meet new people and also it helps your creative like mindset. I learned this new program, it's called InDesign. I never knew how to use it, but now I know. Thankful to Miss Noel. She's a great teacher. I love everything about this class. Something the most I love about this class is the teacher, Miss Noel. This course is a prerequisite for all the other art courses. So you'll learn all about the foundations of art, the elements of art, and you'll build on them. And someday you'll be in the AP art class and uh, create a fabulous portfolio. It's a good experience overall. I get to hang out with my buddy Moose over here. We draw a lot, paint a lot, do some good projects. It's a really good course. You learn a lot. Miss V is a great teacher. Intro to the drawing and painting and, you know, like the advanced drawing and painting. It's a pretty fun class. It'll be well worth your while. You guys should definitely take automotive class because it's one of the best classes you're going to take in high school. In the beginning, we talk about engines and you really learn how cars function. Now you take it the next year, you'll get a double period instead of just one. Um, you learn a little bit more about electrical, heating, and air conditioning, and you really get in-depth about cars and get the feel for how it is. Mr. Hopper, he's a great teacher, a great guy. If you're in eighth grade, I've taken this class for all four years. It's honestly a great program to start off with. If you like engines and love cars, you should definitely take the class. I've been in the band program for four years, and... It's a great experience because you meet so many people and it's not just like, oh, I met people from my grade, I met people from three, three grades above me and three grades below me. And music is just something fun and enjoyable to do and an experience to share with other people. One of the best advice I could give you is get involved in something. We hope it's the band. Uh, there's a lot of different reasons. One, you get to meet a lot of people, people to say hello to, people to be part of an organization with. You know, even another reason we say it's always great to get involved in band is because you're, you're using your talents, you're giving back to the community, giving back to the school, and doing something you love to do. As most of you know, Wayne Hills lost coach John Goldstein last year. Nobody knew more about what happens after school like Goldie did. His words from last year still sum it up better than anyone. So here once again is Goldie talking sports. Athletics here at Wayne Hills are uh, something great to be a part of. Uh, as far as you know, making lifelong friends. Um, that you'll talk to 20 years from now. You know, remember the time we did this in soccer, remember the time we did this in football or basketball, or whatever sport it may be that you choose. Um, you know, plus it keeps you busy after school. You know, what else are you going to do? Go home and do homework? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but seriously, what else are you going to do, you know, after school? Um, but play sports, and or if it's not a sport, you know, maybe you join a club, you know, uh, one of the extracurricular clubs. But uh, athletics here, you know, besides the fact that our teams are good and you're learning from, you know, very experienced coaches, um, I think athletics here at Wayne Hills are excellent. It's something definitely to be a part of. If sports aren't your cup of tea, have no fear because there are dozens of clubs and school events that you can get involved with, from SDA to culinary competitions, community service, theater, and a bunch more. The bottom line is there's something out there for everyone. All you need to do is look. As the former host of the Wayne Hills uh, Spirit Rally, I, can, I think I can speak about how much fun and excitement um, we have here at Wayne Hills during Spirit Week. It's five days where your class engages in um, different competitions from Penny Wars to the different theme days, Hat Day, College Logo Day, sometimes we've had Wacky Sock Day, Wayne Hills Day, uh, Patriots Day, all kinds of things like that. And your class can earn points to uh, hopefully at the end, if you could be that freshman class that wins the whole thing. Um, we also do a lot of donating food through student council to help local Wayne families and also um, Eva's Kitchen Pantry in Patterson. Um, it's, it's a great week full of a lot of exciting things, um, but it really does bring Wayne Hills community together. And then at the end of the week, we have our pep rally, 
where uh, the classes, you know, class color day where freshmen wear pink, sophomores wear green, juniors are purple, and seniors are orange. And we have all kinds of um, competitive activities in the gym, and we get together, and it's just really a great time to uh, blow off a little steam after the first market period's over and, and have a good time here at Wayne Hills. So if if you're coming to Wayne Hills, be ready to, to be prepared and try to win Spirit Week as a freshman class, and that would be really cool. We'd like to wish you the best of luck in your first year here at Wayne Hills. I'm Nick Croce. And I'm Ellie McNeil. Now stay tuned to watch the day of an average Wayne Hills student.